extensive debris has washed up on islands off the Dutch north coast after some 270 containers including chemicals fell off a cargo ship in a storm. As the extent of pollution became clear on five islands including Terschelling, coast guards searched the North Sea for missing containers. The cargo fell off the MSC Zoe near the German island of Borkum, but the tide carried many of them to the southwest. Initial images show children's toys and TVs on Dutch beaches. But officials said three containers carried toxic substances, and Dutch and German coast guards warned local people to steer clear of them. One of those containers had a cargo of peroxide powder, and a 25 kg bag of the chemical was found on the island of Siamuikug on Thursday, along with several containers and their contents. The Panama registered ship is described as the biggest in Europe, with a potential cargo of 19,000 containers. As storms eat buffeted northern Germany with gale force winds late on Tuesday night, 270 containers of Zoe's cargo fell off the ship as it made its way through the Wadden Sea from the Belgian port of Antwerp. Waves of up to 10 meters in height were reported on the night and images from the Dutch Coast Guard showed dozens of containers balanced precariously like dominoes on the deck, about to fall into the sea. By Wednesday morning, strong tides had already swept some of the containers onto beaches on Terschelling, Vleeland and Ameland and Dutch and German Coast Guard planes scoured the sea for the others. There were fears that other shipping could be damaged by the cargo, the Geneva-based MSC company which owns the ship has asked a salvage company to use sonar equipment to help retrieve the missing containers. Overnight into Thursday, the MSC Zoe docked at Bremerhaven. Several containers were spotted in German waters and a further 11 were seen by the Dutch Coast Guard floating between the islands of Meeland and Siamuikug. By Thursday five Dutch islands in the Wadden Sea had seen debris from the MSC Zoe wash up on its beaches. On Texel, Vleeland, Terschelling, Ameland and Siamuikug volunteers were helping on Thursday to clear up the mess spilt the previous day. Around 100 soldiers were being sent to the islands part of the cleanup operation. Among the rubbish found on Terschelling's long, sandy beaches were shoes, bags, cushions, chairs, TVs and plastic cups. Children found pink toys among the rubbish. Volunteers had to scoop polystyrene packaging from the dunes. On Emiland, local officials said 130,000 kilograms of debris had been cleared up along an 8 km stretch of beach. Further to the east, on Siamuikug, a trail of plastic rubbish, shoes and light bulbs was found on the beaches. It was not all bad news on Terschelling. The latest exhibit on display in the local shipwreck museum in the town of Formram featured an army of plastic ponies. When the MSC Napoli ran aground off the southwest coast of England in 2007, 80 containers washed ashore. Police had to shut a local beach as people scoured the debris for motorbikes and other merchandise. Police had to use old laws on scavenging that require people to return goods from the stricken ship. Although some flat-screen TVs were found in the debris on Wednesday, most concerns on the Dutch islands focused on the environmental damage to the area.